it's time for nakedness. Some of us men never thought we would cheat on our girlfriend and wives. We grew up, you know, trying to do the right thing. Not perfect, this and that, but we never thought we'd cheat on our girlfriends and wives. You always try to do the right thing. But it's almost like it's, it's like it's not even evil. It's almost like it's natural. Not to cheat, but to deal with multiple women. Abraham, Abraham had multiple wives. All the major people in the Bible had multiple wives. And they never changed, they never discarded it. They, they, they never put emphasis on not having multiple wives. Even in the New Testament, Moses had multiple wives. Moses wrote the laws, 10 commandments, gave you the 10 commandments. He had multiple wives, yet gave you the Ten Commandments. Abraham had multiple wives. Jacob had multiple wives. Solomon wrote your favorite book, Proverbs, had a million wives. No, I'm, I'm just saying it's just that in this new day and age, it just seemed like having more than one wife, making that normal, will solve a lot of problems and dysfunctions. Because in your mind, if your mind think something is bad, it can cause problems. I, I've seen people take something negative, I mean something positive and make it negative. I've seen people give a person a handshake. I've seen people and say, why you give me a hand? You disrespected me? I've seen people look at somebody and smile and they, and, they, and, they, and they got offended. You know what that tells me? A person can get offended over anything. That's what that tells me. You can do everything right and a person can take it all wrong. Just because you do everything right don't mean people are going to perceive it as right. People often mistake good for bad all the time. A lot of these guys want to be faithful to their wife. But if he had another wife that don't mind doing this in the bed, then she understand. Baby, get you another wife. We all to be one family. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. I'm just saying, can you imagine a world where Tell Sarah to do it. She like doing that. You know, I like cleaning the floor. Sarah like washing the dishes. You see what I'm saying? Each person working, the, oh, one man working with two or three women based on his finances and what his leadership skills and what he's capable of, women choosing the right man to help guide, help protect and guide her. And she's helping him, everybody working together. Imagine all those in imagine all those incomes. Two or three, four incomes in one house. It won't be no more. He cheated on me, argument, fights, calling a man, popo. Imagine a world where one man worked together with three or four women, real men, alpha men of God, like Moses, Jacob, the greats of the Bible. You understand? Imagine that a that a knock all and then he just stick with them. Outside of that, and then he's greedy, and this, it could be labeled as wrong. But if you got three or four, it's not enough men to go around. All these women don't deserve a man in this world. It's not enough men to go around. All these women deserve to be lonely. Why do you think they like guys who's already in relationships somewhere in their system might know it's okay. They don't like single men, so they feel like he's weak. They feel like he's not an alpha male because he don't have no women already. So women see other women already willing to be in your life. They want to be a part of that. It's only for real men. Everybody not built for this. A lot of men can have money, but a lot of men don't have a mentality. They don't have their mentality. 
ah, this video about to be longer than what I thought. But um, I think it'll solve a lot of problems. Think about it. Four women, three or four, two to two to three to four women in one house with one man, and he faithful to all of them. One woman is saying, "Hey, you know, you know, I don't like doing that, but Sarah like doing it. She like doing this in the bedroom. I like doing it. She like cleaning it this way. She like doing that for she. You know what I mean? She can do that better than me. I can do this better than her. But we all work together." Instead of a man saying, look, sweetheart, I really like my hand bones. I really like my hand bones. You know what I'm saying? She said, you know, well, you know, no problem. <clears throat> Tina like doing that. She, you know, Marie, Marie, she like massaging your back. She can massage your back better than I can. You like the way I kiss your forehead, you know what I mean? But it's not, every man not built for this. This is a special man. It's a lot of men are, but every man not. Every man is not built for this. I'm talking about a man that's got the mentality, the heart, the soul that's connected with God that can protect and guide multiple women. That way also it won't put a lot of strain on a woman's body having a whole bunch of kids. For one, each woman have one or two kids. Two, four, six. Got six, six kids from three women. You see, it takes a lot of pressure off the other person, physically, mentally, and situationally. And maybe that's why it's so hard for men to just be with one woman because maybe it's not designed that way if all the other countries we the only people doing it here just because we're just doing it here don't mean it's right just because we've been taught something don't mean it's right welcome to the unplug unplugged you never used your eyes before but now you can use them. Hopefully your eyes not hurting from being a little unplugged from the matrix. I'm Alan Rillionaire. Everything you need is in the description box. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell. You want my latest book, The Blueprint, Man's Guide to Conquering Heartless, Selfish, and Controlling Women. If you want that book, if you're dealing with a controlling woman, you're dealing with a heartless woman, if you're going on dates and women not giving you a hug, but they're taking your food, they're eating your buffalo chicken wings, they're eating your french fries, they're juggling french fries, they're not talking to you on your date, they're going in the bathroom, they're talking on the phone in the bathroom, acting like they're using the bathroom, they texting while you're sitting down, while they're waiting on the food, they're not really asking you no question, they ask you one question and they text it. If you're dealing with heartless, selfish, and controlling nonchalant women then you gonna want this book you only can get it from me i want this book to be personal from me to you so you have to instagram me and tell me you want the book the book 29.99 i have to email the book to you this is a personal from me to you not from Barnes and Noble to you like my other books this is from me to you Everything you need is in the description box. All my songs, albums. You want a consultation, message me on Instagram. Also, Alan Rillionaire Show is my Instagram. The link is also in the description box. Those of you who want to donate to my PayPal or Cash App, it, the links is in the description box. You want to donate to my Cash App or PayPal, the links are in the description box, okay? Stay prayed up. You want a consultation, message me on Instagram. Let me know how much time you want. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Subscribe to my other YouTube channel. Link that's in the description box. We got the TikTok. We got everything you need. Jesus is good. Stay prayed up, y'all. Stay unplugged and stay loving because love is the only true religion out here. And that's what Jesus taught. He said love. Everything else was just letting you know why you need to love. But he's saying, look, when you love, it covers all sin. So open your heart. And learn to love, forgive yourself, then forgive others.